stream doing the work. Yeah, this isn't Fox only Final Destination. Fox only Dreamland, that's my source stage. Ah, yes, Dreamland. Oh, okay. <laughs> both of them whiffing the grab in perfect yeah. timing. Oh, it's weird that though. They're, they're both excellent shine boxes. there from Pancake, actually. Uh, oh, not a great up air. You can't really do that against Fox at low percent. You have to show yeah. up. Yeah, I think he was going for the up smash, but missed oh. it. Oh, oh, um, get this. Oh, Pancake, optionally choosing not to go to the ledge, and instead covering the up B through the stage and into mid, uh, which I don't think is even physically possible, but. Oh, now on shield, but way too high. He misses the L cancel, and he's getting punished for it. Ooh, oh, this is that up smash. full running up smash. Oh, okay. Not playing very optimal Ooh. right now. Ooh. Will okay. that be a stock? No, it won't. No, it was on stage shine spike. Pancake not choosing to... It's really scary when he's dash dancing. Yeah, he's got incredible movement, but he doesn't know what he to do He does the out tet thing it. where he dash dances a lot, and then, like, the permanent whiffs, and then he keeps dash dancing. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, it was really good. Shined out of Anti air shine. Yeah, that was good. Oh, good nair. That that's gonna be the stock. Yep. So Tet takes first stock in this grudge match, Fox v Fox. Oh, was that a shield? Poke? No, he light shielded on a platform, and I think he let go. Oh, okay. He definitely would have not been shield poked from the light shield. Yeah. But like six, three people are in it. I thought it would be six. Wouldn't it be the three that didn't get out from each pool? Okay, whatever. Come take the game. Uh, shine to catch his jump. It's actually not great. If yeah. you shine someone who's mid-air, then they can like usually act out of it surprisingly fast. Yeah, but it, it's good as a repellent. Like, mm. just get out of my face, pretty much. Uh, ooh, catches him. Da dash attack ooh, back. Oh, reads read. that. Gets the up smash. Putting him off stage, but... Uh, that's going to be it yep, for Ducker. That is his yeah, he's just going to have to hold the ledge there. For Ducker? Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Ducker was right there. Oh, he, he gets the jab, but he misses the jab reset timing. So, uh, ooh, up air shine, shine jab there from uh, Tet. He was going for the thunders combo, but missed everything else. Okay, uh, going for the Sakurai, but up ooh, B, and, and then he hits it. him. Wow, zip him up. <laughs> Incoming <Okay>. fiber. <laughs> Okay, running shine there, excellent. You actually should not use, at low percents as Fox, you should never use Nair up until like 40%. It's very easy to crouch cancel and punish. I thought you couldn't crouch cancel it at 0% though. You can't crouch cancel it at 0, but you can ASDI down and it has the same effect. Ah, oh, I see. But not everyone does that and no one, not many people can do it on reaction. I do. Well, you're just weird. I, f I just float down it and then just hold the C-stick down and that's ASDI down. Anyway. Now they're at the viable percents for them to start nairing each other, which is when the neutral game for Fox v Fox starts to open up a lot more. It's also when they get a lot more grab punishes that are more severe. Uh, catches him with the late bow of that dash attack. Ooh, early dash attack. Inside hitbox is going to lead into up smash. Fox's up smash is pretty strong. Yeah, if he DI'd it, that wouldn't have killed him. Although Fox is the third hardest character to kill off the top, I believe. Good uh, nair. Ooh! <laughs> Single laser. laser in his face. Oh. Oh. Uh, Tacking in. That's not really a great option there. A throw? Oh, I was expecting an up tilt there, but. Yeah, they're not. Getting oh, he's going for a lot of grabs. He's games. really grab hungry here. Yeah. Maybe he just feels like a grab is what he really needs to close out of stock because yeah, he doesn't want to rely on reads. He just wants to go on the safe option. Yeah, but unfortunately, when Tet isn't shielding a lot, like right now, he's barely using shield at all. Grab it's not really a good option. Yeah. Tet hasn't pressed the R button apart from L cancelling in like the past three minutes. That's what I said. Oh, there it is. Alright, feel shine. Oh, yeah, rolls towards him, but instead he runs away. He's not following. Tet keeps saying he has really bad reaction times and he can't react to stuff. I think that's a oh. terrible excuse. Oh, he gets the up B in, but misses the jab reset. Excellent DI go. on that up air. Well, not bad DI. Uh, excellent oh. angle, however. Hooking the stage perfectly to get that sweet spot. Goes high, but doesn't quite reach platform. Oh, NTC Fox would have. Ooh! Oh, okay. Jab to up smash. That, that wouldn't have worked if he didn't crouch cancel what? that jab. Game on was just now. Good reactions, though, on Pancake. Pancake. Yeah, game two's got a battlefield. Yeah, it looks like Pancake banned uh, FD, and Tet was not too happy about that. <laughs> I can believe that happening. Or just up throw to up smash. Tet doesn't usually like to do it, but on this stage, 
when he after just two up throws, he can usually just see out of the platform. So the chain grab is mostly useless. At, at this percent, the nair started to open up again, although not quite for Pancake yet. So he has to be more careful. He's running shines in the neutral game. Oh, good down air from ledge. I mean, instead of punishing it, he just runs to the side of the stage and shoots lasers off into space. <laughs> good nair. Oh, air dodge, oh. sending him flying. Ground control to Major Tom as he just takes off into space. <laughs> nair there. Task useful. Good, excellent use of that running shine. He's got to keep up his corner pressure because that's where he's getting a lot of value. Yeah, I think um, Ted oh. at the moment is just throwing out a lot of aerials, hoping that he hits. Like, it's working. He hits a lot. Oh, gets shielded up throw up there. Although he does DI out so he doesn't get just bodied by it. Oh, late hit of the dash attack. Sets like, late hit of the dash attack in Foxjet is actually quite good because it sets up like a tech situation where they're quite close to you and you're not in that much lag. Yeah. So you can like tech chase from it into a punish. Uh, <laughs> I really disagree with these falling up air approaches. I <laughs> really don't think that's ever an option. I, th I think they just want the maximum punish. That's not even yeah. the maximum punish though. Uh, it's pretty decent. For, like, it is pretty decent. Little effort. I mean, oh, but what they should really dash be attack missed tech, so he gets up aired. Now that was a good spot to use the up air. It does a lot of damage the up air. Second most of all is aerials next to forward air, I believe. Ooh, goes yeah, for the jab up smash, but he uh, just falls out. Whoever does forward air, though. Mm. Besides Lucky. Yeah, apart from Harvey, Harvey uses forward air. Good back air! So I like well, saying that. It's SSBM really fun. commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just runs off the platform. Uh, I was way, I was scared he was just going to try and fall down a punish, at which case he could have just been shined. Uh, yeah, just a bit Ted's really high percent, so a grab here from uh, Pancake will probably lead to some sort of punish, but uh, Ted's ground movement is actually excellent, and as I say that, he gets F smashed. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay, uh, so he actually gets the up air approach, even though it's the worst thing in melee. Um, okay, up two up airs. Oh, gets the shine, he's off stage. Oh, just gets legend into invincibility just in time so he doesn't get another shined on. Uh, just trading nares in the air there. Oh, misses the back air. I thought it was Falco that would have hit. Um, I think what they're doing though is they're going for very hard technical punishers that they haven't yet mastered. Oh, speaking of, ledge yeah. dash back to ledge. Not that technical. Still just killed himself. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to get down though. Like, you can't do it consistently all the time. Like, okay, in that situation, uh, Pancake was stuck in shield and Tet decided to dash back, which is pretty much never the right option. If you have them stuck in shield, you should continuously just make them force... You should force them to choose an option they don't want to choose. Oh, side B right on there. Uh, Pancake stuck in the corner, now Tet in the corner, because he just gave up stage control. But uh, they're back in neutral. Good down tilt there, popping right up. Ooh, Ooh. walk off shine. Clutch. Casually clutch. That's the River Island. <laughs> chat's pretty dead right now. Anyone still alive in the chat, say hey. If everyone else is dead, then... Rip chat. <laughs> that sucks. I'll actually have a quick look to see who's in the stream. Just... Okay. Glitch, scroll, smash out UK, and... Hi! Hi, hi! I uh, don't know who SSB High is, though. Well, oh, Glitch is here. Oh. Glitch is apparently not alive. He says no. Oh, wow. Well, rip Glitch. Um, Wait, get up attack there, knock him over. Oh, be for Red today? Bull. Where the hell is Nate today? Uh, Nate is at home today. Oh. Probably doing A level revision, because he's a sensible young man. He Wave dash in. You just wing it. Up throw, up smash. Getting a lot of damage from that. Wait, God damn it, Nate. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I got straight ears and I didn't revise once. Wow. <laughs> Half Asian. Oh. <laughs> he uh, misspaces that nair and gets grabbed for it. It's something Tet has. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How many times can you whiff up there? In a row. That was incredible. Oh, okay. okay. Don't worry. He's just psyching him out. Like, okay, good back air. Yeah. Tet's got the red bull tag now. So yeah. That, that was unnecessary. He was dead anyway. But it was cool. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that is actually important. Game. If you hit something and you're like, yeah, that was cool, then. Like, it's actually really good for your mentality. Yeah, that's true. Look, like against Edamame, I got hit by uh, like a stalker. I was getting bodied, and then I got one really cool edge guard, and I was like, yeah, good job, Rob. <laughs> uh, mentally helps you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Excellent Nair there. They're both at high enough percent when Nair is... Oh, that up smash kills. This is a low ceiling. 
Second lowest in the legal stage list. These uh, lasers coming in, just tack on some most percent. Clear out that stale move queue. Yeah, Brandon, that's because you're Asian. Asians have that kind of superpower. How is Tet playing and commentating? Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good up smash. Because Tet oh, is a up tilt. And You see, he didn't have to go for that up there, there but he did it again. Because okay. it looks really cool if it hits. Oh, Spider-Man. Uh, okay, laser battles. Mm -hmm. Like, who oh. wins in the laser battle if foxes just decide to play campy and laser? N not the audience, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, dash attack forcing him off stage. Ooh, he Ooh. chooses the right option but whiffs it completely. Yeah, he gets the right read, but... Uh, up throw, up smash, yeah. Oh. No, he I think he's realized at there. this point that he doesn't need to try and do complicated punishes. Yeah, he's, he's just, just going to up throw, the, up smash. Just going for the guaranteed stuff, but that is not guaranteed. I believe he was trying to go for a running up smash and instead got a fair. Uh, Ooh, that dash attack is going to get punished hard. 170%, you're not surviving that. Right, dash attack, jab up smash. It's not even vaguely a thing. But Against Tet, I guess it is. Oh. Ooh, that's going to seal that stock. If that was NTSC, he would have survived. What? He would have gone to the far left platform. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, right now, locked in a shine battle. Shine is actually so huge. Before the foxes are at like 40%, shine is literally most of this matchup. Because, uh,. You can't really laser because it's a little bit too high commitment in a set matchup where there's no commitment. Did you just shield poke with upper? Looks like it. Shut up, Tet. <laughs> that is not. He wasn't talking, but he was. Okay, are we going to see a fox man here? Uh, are we going to see multi shines in the pit? No, okay. Okay. They're Good forward air to catch him out the jump. Right. Oh! Wow. That was shine a shine. side B. That was not what I was expecting. Oh, okay. I keep telling people it's optimal. Shine the side B, it insta kill. I mean, I guess. I mean, what you really got to do is reverse F tilt. Try just F smash on. Yeah, but who would want to do that? Swag people. Okay. Uh, good job running him around with these aerials, but uh, he really needs to get a kill on Pancake soon, or he's going to find himself in a tough position as Pancake just racks up more and more percent. Two hits at the forward air. It's going to be like 16%. It's nice. Dash stack. Oh, he's in a tech situation, but instead he dashes back. He, he could have easily Penaz. reacted that. Okay. Never mind. He's proven me wrong. Okay. Hop up. Back air. Okay. Yep. Grab that. He's still not... Uh, no! Oh, oh whatever, okay. he got it anyway. Yeah. Did he do works. an up B? Whatever. Oh, uh, light shielded on that platform, that's the tech. Um, he's trying to give himself a lot of space right here in the neutral, and I, I think that's good. I think he's just waiting for a big punish. And but he, he really has to overshoot these aerials, because right now he's swinging and missing a lot. And he's yeah. swinging five times more than Pancake will, but... Ooh, what oh, what was that up That, was, so that was... That is it. Yep. It's all over. GG's to Tet and Pancake for that game. It was interesting. A lot of Fox play. Both of them definitely playing yeah. Fox. We saw a lot of shines. Both of th yeah, those things did happen. Yeah. So. Oh, so I have left